so diseases of chilies now we'll see the list of important diseases in chilies so my name is anand chengar reddy and i am doing phd plant pathology in anamal university so coming to the list of important diseases in chili these are a list of important diseases so first one is damping off which is caused by pithium ephyr dermata and the second one is powdery mildew which is caused by lelola tarica fruit rot or dieback which is caused by calotrigum capsici cercospora leaf spot which is caused by cercospora capsici physarium wilt which is caused by physarium solani and bacterial leaf spot which is caused by xanthomonas campestris pathovar vesicatoria and mosaic which is caused by mosaic virus so now uh, we will see in detail about one by one the first disease is damping off which is caused by pithium aphanidermatum so this disease will be very problematic in especially during the production of nursery not only in chili but also for other crop plants also so for production uh, in, in especially nursery uh, the symptoms mainly seen initial at collar region let us consider if it is a collar region initial at collar region water soaked lesions are appears and slowly what will happen this infected region starts to uh, softening and slowly it starts to uh, weakening at the uh, uh, collar region or the lower region due to that what will happen the seedlings are collapsed the seedlings are fall down or collapsed and the toppled over symptoms can be seen if you see here incomplete uh, uh, growth of uh, plants can be seen here clearly and we can, you can also see here and the incomplete growth of plants are partially filled grain i mean partially filled plants are can be seen here in and along with that uh, so due to the weakening of uh, tissues it can't supply the adequate amount of nutrients and minerals to the entire crop so that it can uh, die in later stages of crop growth and uh, during uh, uh, during i uh, don't after infection of the water soaked lesions brown color lesions also can be seen on, uh, on the collar region of a uh, plant so especially this for uh, nursery production uh, we can use a light soil for nursery along with uh, a raised seed bed can also be one of the uh, best management practices and uh, frequently irrigation so better drainage facilities and uh, soil drenching with copper oxychloride at 8 to 10 days before uh, uh, at intervals can reduce the uh, disease incidence and severity of this disease so coming to the next disease second one powdery mildew which is caused by levulula tarica it's a very important uh, uh, disease in uh, chile so if we see white color powdery growth we can clearly see here white color powdery growth or patches can be seen on the lower surface of leaves on the upper surface yellow color halo or yellow color patches can be seen let us consider if it is a lower surface white color powdery growth can be seen on the lower surface on the upper surface yellow color patches can be seen in severe cases of infection drying and shedding of leaves and dying of plants will happens mainly shedding of leaves will be very commonly seen in chilly powdery mildew so coming to the management aspects uh, spraying carthen 0.07% or wettable sulfur 0.025% uh, can be recommended so this carthen consists of uh, two main i mean uh, one fungicide that is a tridomorph can be recommended the trade name is calixin along with the triadimiphone which is considered as a rescue treatment fungicide but most of the powdery mildews we can recommend a tridomorph uh, which is sold as a calixin outside the trade name is calixin so third one which is anthracnose caused by coltrotrichum capsici so coming to the symptoms in plant if first of all we will see the symptoms in plant so here the dieback symptoms can be clearly seen here dieback of branches we can see here dieback of uh, branches can be clearly seen here here the main thing is the shedding of flowers you can see here shedding of all the flowers there is no there is no fruit formation even though fruit formation happens minute i mean less amount of fruits are formed along with the fruit size also can be reduced so along with the shedding of flowers infection can be uh, seen in from tip to branches so the main symptoms is shedding of uh, you know uh, shedding of leaves from tip to branches can be seen under favorable conditions this infection will spreads to the all over plant from a tip to stalk and it can all the uh, plant can look like exactly look like to die back symptoms this is the infection on plant so coming to the infection on fruits we can see the now uh, now we will see the infections in fruits so we can see anthracnose symptoms are you know uh, what can i say that complete black initially what will happen brown color water soaked lesions are you can see this is the initial stages so see if we see brown color water soaked lesions initially appears if you see this diagram brown color water soaked lesions initially appears on the skin of the fruit along with uh, uh, white color mycelial growth also can be seen along with the depressed spots we can see here depressed growth can be seen initially this brown color water soaked lesions that infects on the skin and shriveling and drying of fruits will happen in the next stage you can see this is the shriveling and drying of fruits and as i told you that depressed spots are minute to black color spots this is the clear symptoms 
so depressed spot or minute black color spots that indicates the presence of the fruiting body acervoli we can see number of acervoli is the asexual fruiting body uh, there are four types of asexual fruiting bodies are there pycnidium sporodacium acervoli and cinema from this where acervoli from this acervoli cholerotrichum spores are uh, produced so the affected fruits uh, may be fall down subsequently and it completely lost the market price because the complete rotting and decaying of fruit will happen so it is a completely unfit for uh, 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 to fetch a good market price as well as uh, uh, you know uh, it's better to avoid the fruits uh, which is infected with anthrocnose so coming to the management aspects uh, collect the seeds from uh, healthy uh, uh, healthy fruits without infection or the uh, uh, the sowing material should be very healthy and the crop debris should be collected and destroyed and seed treatment with the captain or theorem at the rate of 4 gram per kilogram of seeds or spraying of mango zip 0.25 percent can control the disease coming to the next disease cercospora leaf spot which is caused by uh, cercospora capsici so coming to the symptoms if you if you see the symptoms on leaf area so we can see brown to uh, uh, circular small lesions can be seen so these are uh, gray center spots with brown color margins so gray center gray center spots with brown color margins initially small brown color spots are uh, occurs with uh, gray center and later the spots are quite small small spots are quite less and the big spots can be seen with a uh, uh, gray center and dark brown margin so if we if we see the uh, uh, symptoms i mean if you see the symptoms uh, the diameter of the symptoms may enlarge just to 1 cm in diameter sometimes uh, during especially during quaalizes and the severely infected leaves or droops and premature drooping and uh, falling of leaves can be clearly observed and the yield also can be reduced sir because uh, uh, you know uh, uh, if there is no leaves uh, you know uh, uh, photosynthesis activities also get be reduced so that that it also reduces uh, um, the yield and as well as the quality and production of uh, 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 chili so coming to the management aspects uh, spraying twice at 10 to 15 days interval with mango zip 0.25% or chlorothalonil at the rate of 1% can be recommended to manage this disease next one is fusarium wilt of chili which is caused by fusarium solani so coming to the symptoms we can clearly see the wilting of plants so we can see here wilting of plants so here this wilting can be characterized by upward and inward rolling of leaves initially what will happen yellowing of leaves and upward and inward rolling of leaves can be happens so leaves will slowly start to die and defoliation of leaves can happens in later stages the wilting of uh, not only wilting of uh, you know uh, uh, leaves but also we can see the stems branches everything the wilting of leaf and then wilting of fruits also can be stay can be seen so if you see the above ground pots the symptoms are evident if you if you cut open that uh, vascular bundles we can see if you cut open the roots we can see the vascular bundles are discolored and and you can see the lower stem uh, stem region and the partial root region brownish a uh, brown color discoloration of uh, uh, vascular bundles can be seen if you split open and and we see inside of uh, you know uh, stem so coming to the management aspects using uh, uh, resistant varieties and uh, drenching with soil 1% uh, uh, bodo mixture or blue copper or uh, phyllotan 0.25% maybe give a proper protection along with seed treatment with 4 grams of trichoderma viride formulation or 2 grams of carbenzim per kilogram can be also be effective and mix 2 kg of uh, trichoderma viride formulation that can be mixed with uh, 50 kilograms of farm aiding manure and sprinkled water along with this uh, 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 and covered with the polythene sheet also one of the management practice for this vizarium wilt the next disease is bacterial leaf spot so which is a bacterial disease caused by bacteria sorry xanthomonas campestris pathovar uh, vesicatoria so initially small circular or uh, you know water soaked lesions initially appears on the lower surface in later stages we can see in the upper surface also so these spots are enlarges in size in later stages so uh, uh, initially small spots so initially small spots enlarges in size so here uh, after water soaked lesions forming on the lower surface symptoms also can be seen on the upper surface so here in a purple color lesions with black center can be seen so purple color lesions with black color center can be seen here which was surrounded by yellow halo also we can clearly seen here yellow halo which was purple color center or brown color uh, uh, margins with yellow halo surrounded with uh, pinkish uh, uh, white color center uh, can be clearly seen here so infected leaves will dry in later stages and uh, uh, quality of uh, fruits also get reduced due to this bacterial leaf, leaf spot so coming to the management aspects so seeds uh, seeds should be 
collected from uh, healthy sources and uh, seed treatment with copper oxychloride 2 gram per kilogram of seeds and spraying of agromycin 100 because it is a uh, bacterial disease uh, better to go with uh, antibiotics uh, agromycin 100 uh, uh, at 100 ppm uh, can control this disease so the next disease is leaf curl and mosaic so first one, first we will see leaf curl so the name itself indicates curling of leaves inward curling of leaves can be seen here from the midrib region so inward curling of leaves can be seen along with stunting of plants and shortening of internodes so here the size of leaf also reduced uh, the size of leaf also uh, reduced here and the size of internodes also get reduced and stunting of plants and height or reduction of uh, uh, plant height and stunting of plants can be clearly observed along with the shortening of internodes and leaves also can be reduced as i told you so this disease is mainly transmitted by white fly so here the controlling of white fly can greatly helpful for controlling this disease so the next one is mosaic virus so here we can see alternate green and yellow patches can be seen here alternate the the picture was not clear but here uh, if you see light green or uh, dark green patches along with yellow color uh, symptoms can be clear and stunting of leaves also can be observed along with uh, uh, especially this stunting can be seen in earlier stages of club growth if you see the leaves in later stages yellowing of leaves can be seen along with the chlorotic spots can be especially appears on uh, leaves and as well as fruits also so coming to the management aspects, uh, infected plants should be uprooted and burnt and buried uh, to, prevent, to, to uh, avoid further infection and uh, avoiding a monoculture especially only continuous cultivation of chili can be avoided along with the selection of healthy uh, disease free swaying seeds, uh, I mean uh, disease free seeds for swaying and uh, raise uh, two to three of uh, three rows of maize or sorghum as a border crop so that helps to restrict the uh, 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 vectors uh, maybe aphids or uh, uh, I know uh, white flies or different types of vectors can be uh, restricted and uh, application of uh, carbofuran 3g granules at the rate of four to five kilogram per hectare can be recommended for the controlling of insect vector and along with the spraying of systemic fungicides like uh, insecticides like sorry systemic insects like uh, monocrotopus 1.5 ml per uh, uh, liter or dimethoate 2 ml per liter or recipient 1 gram per liter of water can be recommended. So questions related to ARS are in it, uh, we can expect causal organisms that is damping of, of chilies caused by uh, Pythium affandermatum and powdery mildew is very very important one that I had seen it in many places which is caused by Levulula tarica and food rot which is caused by Coltrotrican capsi because it is a very very important disease that uh, completely affects uh, you know fruits uh, I mean especially that uh, chili and uh, rhizoctonia solani there may be uh, there, there may be chances of asking causal organism rhizoctonia solani uh, physarium will discussed by rhizoctonia solani and a very very important one chili leaf curl is transmitted by white fly uh tabasi i think it's very important and i had seen it in many areas so this is it, it is the one of the important one so this is about chili